folks, how are you today? So it's time for us to go with our code again. Where this, we are seeing this retro theme today. We have already seen new screens and some other themes previously. And today we are seeing retro theme. So let's see, it's just like um, a welcome to Sprite Lab film. Video, if you want to look at it, you can go or have a look at it, and we can actually start creating a uh, sprite. And then we have to just say something. So, hello world, I'm a sprite. Use the save block to make me say whatever you like. Drag a make new sprite block into the workspace and connect it under the Android. Right? So, basically, you just have to drag it. To make a new sprite. Sprite is any object or character which is present on the screen. And if you want to make some characters and if you want to um, create some interaction between them, between the sprites which you're creating, so you can absolutely do that with make new and uh, save block. So connect the save block under a make new sprite block. Make sure to select the same costume in each block. Great. Definitely. So if you're using, um, let's say you're uh, using some other character, here also you have to use the same character to make it say hello world, right? Let's click on run to check it. Hmm, it does the thing, right? So this is something about it and, um, and this is just like introduction to Sprite Lab wherein you're getting uh, a small understanding of how to create sprites and how to make your projects interactive how to build stories using Sprite Lab. So these things uh, you're able to understand with this HOC, R code, right? This R code tutorial. And yeah. So give each sprite a different location. Click the pin on the location block to move sprites to different locations. So basically, let's say you don't want to keep this here. And I'm just clicking on the pin and just placing it here. You just have to move your cursor automatically, it moves with your cursor. Okay, so wherever you wanna place it, just click there. It just goes there. So to change the position, it's, or to change the location of the sprite, it's very simple. Click on the pin, wherever you wanna just take it, take your mouse there, and then click on it, that's it, right? Let's run it. So we have changed the location of the sprite. And this is how you do it. Right? If you're creating a new project on Sprite Lab, so you can follow all these instructions, which will be helpful for you to create a new project, right? So that's that's about it. And uh, and then we have let's chat. Make your two sprites each say something, and you just have to just get the say for something. Get this and make it. Say Say, I would, I would just make it say brilliant, brilliant, right? So let's try to check it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> cool. So it, it's just like that. And then let's continue to see what next is going to come up. Okay, what's different here? Can you make these sprites talk? Read the code, what do you notice? Uh, click the run button, click or tap the sprites. So basically, uh, we have set a background picture. Make new sprite. So two sprites are made. When this sprite is clicked, it says the sky looks beautiful today. When this is clicked, I've landed. It says I've landed. Cool. Okay, so they just say when they are clicked, only then they would say something. If not, they wouldn't say something. So basically, these green blocks are event handlers, which can handle that particular event. And when that event occurs, only then the concerned action will take place. If not, nothing would get executed. Okay, so basically, we're learning about uh, programming with events in this in this particular uh, video, right? So if you want, you can do check that out while you're doing your uh, art of code tutorial, right? 
But yes, uh, we already know about this thing. When green flag, this is not the green flag, I'm very much used to that. So when uh, the stripe is clicked, right, only then something would happen. Okay. So you can just make it say when something, so let's say um, power up. When that is clicked, we would say power up. Then when let's, there is clicked. recharged okay so basically that would give him life isn't it so that's why i'm saying and recharged let's click on each slide to say that oh yeah oh, i'm recharged <laughs> cool so likewise you can build up a new story with this you can use your creativity to create something new you can say whatever you want to say right so it's absolutely easy and dumb it's, it's absolutely cool to do such kind of a stuff. Yeah. Let's see. What else can we do with events? Let's learn how to change the background first. So to change the background, you just have to use this block, click on it, choose the background, whichever you would like to place. And that's it. That will actually work. And you can set background color. Also, you can place some. Um, the extra challenge is change the background multiple times by clicking on multiple spreads, right? So uh, let's say I'm just creating three new spreads. Let's create this. Let's create this. Oh, this is already done, right? So this. Now, okay, so I'll just change the positions. So click on the pen. Place your cursor somewhere to change the position. Right. Let's say now when this sprite is clicked, it would say scanning and then it would set background to uh, this one, let's suppose. And now when pink one is clicked, it would say loading, just like that, okay. Uh, it needn't say anything, but I'm just uh, giving it. So, and then when next flight is clicked, let's say when this flight is clicked, let's make it say. Just writing something like that. Cool. And, uh, and now. Uh, Let's see. Let's run it. So it says, oh, oh, wait, it's not yet done. So keep playing. Uh, because when this is clicked, it has to speak and it has to say something. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Let's freeze it and run it again. Doing, scanning, loading. <laughs> cool. So this is about it. And you can actually do whatever you would like to, right? And it's it's just like the story building thing. And whatever characters you need and however you need, you want to create a game. You can have your creative creativity to do your game or any stuff, such stuff like that, right? So you're already setting a background, maybe when you scroll. Use the change costume block to change the costume when it is clicked. You can change the costume, right? Remember uh, that an event will cause something to happen when a user interacts with the sprite, of course. So when the sprite is clicked, only this would change, this change would happen. If not, it wouldn't change. So change the sprite costume more than once, change the costumes of multiple sprites. So let's say if you want to add in a new sprite that would like look like this maybe. So I'm just pinning it somewhere over here. And when that sprite is clicked, we'll change the costume. Or oh, not this one, right? So it's this one. We'll change the costume of this sprite, basically the blue one, to uh, let's a red one. Okay. Cool. Let's see how does this work, right? Whenever you click on them, only then they will change. See? 
only when you click on them they would change if not no change would be there right so we have changed multiple costumes over here by adding multiple sprites so that means we have completed the extra challenge also okay so it's it's pretty much simple to complete the HOC if you are actually aware if you're aware of this before if you weren't aware of it don't worry do check out my all um, all videos which are present in RF code tutorials so you will get a brief idea of what it is how to use code org and uh, all such kinds of stuff right so if you don't know anything do go back to my channel there are multiple playlists and whichever playlist you want to go for or go with you can absolutely go there and do check out all my videos so there are, uh, there are more than 200 videos for you to watch and learn coding so yeah do check out them if you are interested in this and uh, yes let's get started with this challenge now use the new blocks in the toolbox to change the size of the sprite make sure size is other than 100 right because the original size of the sprites is 100 right and if you want to increase them or decrease them you definitely have to check it out right use events to change the size of the sprites when they are clicked okay so basically we already have two sprites so i'm not adding any other sprite i would just get two event blocks and i want to change the size so let's set size of this so and this so let's set size of this i would say this is 150 and for this as 70 let's suppose so it would decrease in size and this would increase in size right so basically you have to make sure that both the things are uh, actually properly aligned right like same right uh, let's say if you click on this uh, if you want to change the other sprite size you can absolutely do that if you have that kind of a need but yeah if you want the same thing to be changed when you click on some particular sprite then you have to make sure that you're choosing things properly if not hmm, that would create a mess right let's do it cool so this is increasing in size and this is decreasing in size right and um, let's go to the next level uh, actually next uh, stage in the same level we can say because this is completely one tutorial so Cool. we have four sprites now we can animate sprites using behaviors behaviors or actions that happen over and over while the program runs okay so you can um, you can we, we can use events to make a sprite begin its behavior when it is clicked right so that's absolutely possible like when let's say we have four sprites so i would say we will be needing four of them So yeah, first uh, let okay one is blue one blue character and the other one is pink character. The other one is purple character. The other one is green character. So it's this thing, right? And you just get sprite begins, sprite begins, sprite begins, sprite begins will make it. Uh, actually do something right it starts doing some behavior so behavior is basically like it does a particular a particular action over and over again when you run the program okay until and unless you stop it so it doesn't stop doing the part right it continuously does the same thing over and over and let's choose the respective sprites because when this is clicked we want to change the behavior of this sprite right so that's why if you want to change the behavior of others right it's all up to you based on your story you can do it so spinning right would make it uh, spin towards right spinning left will make it spin leftwards shrinking and growing would make it smaller and bigger so i'm not gonna use them so fluttering jittering cool let's say 
so this is fluttering I think this is jittering this is spinning left right oh okay cool so this is about behaviors like they're continuously doing the same behavior if you want to change behaviors or if you want to make or create a new behavior of your own you can absolutely do that and that is only possible when you're creating a new sprite lab project but not in the HOC because in HOC we would do the we would follow the instructions and do the things whatever is given right so yeah and we'll use the new block in the toolbox to play a sound you can absolutely play a sound right so when the sprite is clicked if you want to do something like play a sound so you can do that right so you can also give a behavior if you would like to so let's say while it is wobbling it has to play sound alien ship right let's do this okay cool Deduct. Uh, so it is wobbling now and it is playing the sound so you can see sound right if you can hear it that's fine if you can't hear it that's because i've not shared my audio cool we're in the last level now so it's, it's basically very simple in this level you have to create your own story and you actually now know what all you need right and there are so many blocks in this which you have um, idea of one we've used so many things in the previous um, stages and now that you're ready to use all of them so you can create any story you can create any anything right so we have word blocks all these categories are there now you can use any of them based on the need and start doing the story start creating something right so all these are behaviors we have so many behaviors okay like patrolling moving west and looping east and looping south so moving with arrow keys driving with arrow keys okay spinning right left shrinking wobbling wandering moving south east west north all of them are available okay you can set background images background colors you can change the background color randomly you can play sound, you can print something, you can show title screen. I would show this to you once. So task. Let's let's say you got hundred. Okay. So this is how a title screen would actually display the title. If you want to show some background image, so you can do that, right? So, uh, let's say, yeah, uh, so this is it. Any background you use, anything you use, you can actually start creating something like this. Build a story or a build a game or build something using retro theme, maybe like a small game or animation which you want to do with this. You have behaviors, you have uh, sprite categories here where uh, you can move it uh, go northwards you can turn it 45 degrees or with any, uh, any degree angle and you can make it move forward and you can make face them right face them left okay so you have all these uh, blocks that are very will do something really cool and uh, you let me know what what you've done you can also do share your all the links with me you can just click on share button here and copy the link and submit it in the comment section below for me to look at them and uh, see how it works right i will definitely want to see your creativity guys so this is all this is all about our today's session if you want to know more and more about these things you can go back to my channel there are so many videos on uh, hoc like art of copes so yeah if you want to know, know more or create something new Use your creativity and do let me know what you have created in the comment section below, right? So please do like, comment, share and subscribe subscribe to my channel, Foxhub. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be meeting you all in the next session. Bye-bye and have a great day all.